Hi, welcome back to you. New lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about embedded system programming with VR microcontrollers. So, moreover, this is a new series which will be based on the AVR microcontrollers and the embedded system programming and its fundamental concepts. In embedded system programming, there are three main components. The first one is embedded hardware and then we have embedded software and then finally we have a user and the application running on the top of the embedded hardware and the software. Embedded software resides on the top of the embedded hardware and on the top of the embedded hardware and the software user application runs on these two parts. So the first question you might ask that what is the embedded system and what is the general purpose system. So there is a long war between embedded system versus general purpose systems. So what would you say? What is the general purpose system? So the first question what is the embedded system and then we will see the differences between general purpose systems and the embedded system. Embedded system as its name implies that it may be the hardware or the software or both of these hardware and the software which integrated to perform a particular function. So with this hardware and the software it only performs a single or a particular function that's mean fixed number of function a very limited number of functions such as one or the two function it uses microcontrollers that's when the embedded hardware is built of microcontroller and uh, apart from the microcontroller it has uh, some extra peripherals actuators and the sensors which supports overall system to make it such as for example you can take a, a circuitry small circuitry into a, a washing machine a music player the data logger a weather logging systems etc these are the embedded system devices and the every embedded system device needs a, a, almost a, a software okay and uh, the most famous software uh, the package that is known as the OS operating systems and embedded devices needs most of the operating systems are the RTOS that is the real time operating systems. Okay, so this real time operating systems enables programmers to program embedded hardware easily and uh, also to create reusable and the stable codes with the more software updates. There are a lot of applications of the embedded system devices such as first application and the most famous application is a smart home application and it can be used also into the office. In fact everywhere it can be used into the smart city. It can use into the agriculture. It can be used into the healthcare, pacemakers, health monitoring devices, etc., or the embedded system devices. It can be used into the transportation. The embedded hardware software can be used into the space application. It can be used into the industrial application. And there are so many uh, 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 the areas in which embedded system can be used. So now the time to learn about the embedded hardware and then we will learn about the software. So let's first learn about what is the embedded hardware. Embedded hardware contains four basic units and those basic units are a core processor, input, memory and the output. Right? 
so moreover the first block diagram what we can say here we can say in an embedded system there is a sensor and then there is main uh, embedded system that's mean the core of the embedded system and then finally there is actuator and the core of any embedded system is a microcontroller itself okay and if i say this embedded uh, hardware in a single block so you can say it like this there is a cpu which is a core and then there is input of course which is a sensors then there is a memory and then finally there is output right the cpu and the memory is correlated to each other and this input goes to the cpu and output comes here so the more over here you can say the sensors and then this output is related to actuators right so this is the embedded hardware how we can show this embedded hardware it contains the microcontroller which is known as a cpu and it also uh, takes input from the sensors and it performs operation with the help of the memory where it stores the data and then it finally produces the output which can be fed into the actuator such as the motor controls and and the other actuator systems such as the light fans ac etc now let's understand how the embedded softwares are made so here we have a embedded software so the embedded software um uh, embedded software sits just above of the embedded hardware let's say this is hardware which we had discussed earlier and the software just just reside above of this uh, hardware but there is a in between software and the hardware there is a very small layer uh, which is known as a which is known as a hardware layer right so in the software form there are many languages are available in which the software can be written such as the c c++ the c sharp and the python so and the java so these there are so many languages in which embedded system can be embedded system program can be written but the c language is responsible for 95% embedded system devices right and there are um, other uses other other programming languages are also being used but those programming languages are limited to only the 5% such as assembly and of course c++ of course the c and the c++ come here comes here the c sharp and here the python and the java etc languages so these languages are also being used to do embedded software programmings but the use of these languages are really very limited so what are the steps to design the embedded system products so there are basic seven main steps in which embedded system products um, is being designed here so those uh, seven basic uh, seven basic uh, steps are like this first we need to get here the idea and then we have to 
think about the design and then we have to develop our first prototype so here we have our idea here we have our design thinking and here we had developed our first prototype and then we had tested our prototype and after that we deployed our prototype let's say and once it is deployed then you need to provide here system supports and the upgrades supports and upgrades right perfect so this is the embedded system cycle in which um, in general in general we design but before the idea there is uh, um, uh, there is one more steps in between the idea and the design which we can integrate here with this itself that is the idea and plus understanding the requirement of the embedded system uh, hardwares okay the idea and the requirement of the hardwares so these are the seven steps which we actually need to design a embedded system products so this is all about in this video in which we have learned about what is the embedded system and what is the embedded hardware and what is the embedded software and what are the seven steps to design embedded system products so throughout this tutorial series we will be learning about the embedded systems programming in c assembly with avr microcontrollers so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox Bye-bye. Have a nice day.